Okay. So, this one, this little guy is the Wallaby. Wallaby 2, actually, because Ronaldo has two versions. The Wallaby 1, which is a little bit more closed, and the Wallaby 2, this one, which is a little bit more open. <coughs> um, so, this is based on the format of the animal, actually, the Australian animal, the Wallaby. All right, check Ronaldo's video. He has more explanation and he has a picture. Also, again, Ronaldo is a biologist, so he's always inspired by the shapes of the nature to make some boomerangs. <clears throat> Very interesting, right? So this is made, uh, I believe, in PVC. And uh, yeah, it has the shape. The shape is very different, right? Uh, from the traditional boomerang, but it comes back. Um, I, I My tuning, at least for me, I like to give it a little bit positive dihedral on the leading wing, the first wing, okay? Or the lifting wing, the leading wing. A little bit positive dihedral. And for the wing two, a little bit of negative dihedral, all right? So that way I can throw it a little bit more vertical and a little bit more far than the original throw, all right? So, but that's my tuning, okay? You can, you need to find your tuning, the tune that is better for you. And so you can get the best of this very interesting boomerang, all right? So this is the Wallaby 2. You can find it at Boomerangues Brazil. Uh, I'm gonna post the link. In the description and also uh, the boomsmith is Ronaldo Alperin from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil.